our concern here across Texas is the wildfires and the dangerously dry conditions that we saw yesterday. This is from the Texas A&M Forest Service of the fire danger forecast for today. As we look closer to home here, we are at a moderate to low uh, category. There are some areas are under a high risk category, and that is a uh, around a two, three out of a four there in five. So yesterday we were at extreme, so it was all red across South Texas, but we are dealing with increased atmospheric moisture levels. But I am tracking the latest active wildfire fires, especially in and around Kingsville and in portions of Brooks County there. The Borrega fire in Kleber County is 60,000 acres big and it's only 20% contained and the Vib fire in Brooks County is 9,424 acres and 85 contained percent contained there and these are relatively close to Highway 281. So if you're heading out of the valley north of Edinburgh, keep that in mind that these uh, wildfires are in close proximity of 281 and stretching north to San Antonio and we could be dealing with some hazards with that. Looking at the future smoke tracker that we're looking at, most of this smoke is uh, traveling far south. So if you are along 281 there, you're going to see some very dense smoke uh, in that area, in that region there through Brooks County and Kleber County, just to the east of uh, to the west of Kingsville. And as we look at the next uh, several hours into tonight, we're going to start seeing those southeast winds start blowing that smoke off towards Laredo. So they're about to get some very dense fog uh, and haze over there in that region, but remaining well away from the valley. And we're not seeing any active wildfires in our counties here from stretching from Rio Grande City to McAllen to Harlan or South Padre Island. All of that uh, dry conditions and those big wildfires remaining well to the north of us, even though we did see a few of those wildfires as of yesterday. But as we look at the latest drought monitor, this is what we were looking at last week. We were seeing some increasing dry conditions across Hidalgo and Cameron counties there, and this is the one that's now released for today. You're seeing those uh, drought conditions spreading. Now Harlan, including in those drought conditions, with uh, portions of Star County now under that severe drought conditions. And so the lack of rain definitely keeping those soils less saturated. And we do need the rain as we head into the next few days. Just a look at the current burn bands. Now Star and Cameron counties under that burn band as of now. And uh, we are expecting uh, that could possibly increase. But the good news is that we are dealing with less dry conditions today. National Weather Service not issuing any fire weather alerts uh, for today here in the valley. But as we uh, look at those dew points, right now we're not as dry. Yesterday we were in the 20s and teens. Now we're seeing uh, elevated atmospheric moisture levels of those dew points in the 60s. So it's becoming a bit humid here across the valley and that's good news for us because that does prevent those wildfires from forming there as we go into the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Dew points are going to remain in the 50s and 40s. Still, if you look at our little legend here, it's comfortable and humid. You want those dew points rather humid as of now because if it was dry, we will definitely start seeing those increased fire weather risks. Future clouds and radar, we are expecting Expecting increasing cloud coverage as we head into those overnight hours. So tomorrow is going to be a bit more cloudy and a bit more humid, but across the south central U.S., mostly calm and clear. It's going to remain a rather dry and clear uh, for the next uh, few days there, but we are expecting to see an increase in cloud coverage as well as a few stray showers starting to move in as we head into the next few days. But no significant rain chances, no significant weather patterns or systems are going to be affecting our forecast, at least uh, for the next few days there. As we look at that seven day forecast, highs in the 80s and 90s quite warm this weekend looking fantastic. It is going to be humid overnight lows in the 60s and then getting up into the 90s for next Tuesday and Wednesday.